morning boys and girls and everyone at St James Primary School. Um, is I'm sorry again that I can't be with you this morning. Um, probably as you're watching this, I'm actually having an operation, so I'm in hospital at this moment in time. But I should be back with you in a few weeks time. So this is the next of our videos for collective worship over the next few weeks. And to start this story, it's another parable that Jesus told, another story that Jesus told with a meaning. It didn't actually happen, but it's got a lesson that we can learn. And as I said, to start this, I wanna ask you a question. I always like asking questions, because uh, they get they help to get us thinking. And I wonder, put your hands up if you've ever planted a seed. Ever planted a seed before? Or a bulb? And sometimes these things, they're absolutely tiny, aren't they? They're minuscule. But we plant them and they grow to be really big plants or trees or flowers thousands of times bigger than that very small seed that we first planted. And it's great to watch it grow, isn't it? To see how it develops, and we water it and we look after it. We make sure it's got some sunlight and it's outside and it's got some soil. We do things to look after it because we want to see it grow. And Jesus told a story that helps us to think or it helps us with an idea of those seeds growing into something much bigger. And Jesus said to some people that were around him that were, that were listening to him at the time, they'd come to listen to him teaching. He said, God's kingdom is like seed thrown on a field by a man who then goes to bed and forgets about it. Oh, you're still there. He forgot about it. Just like I forgot, you were still there. This man had planted seed and forgot about it. But the seed sprouted and it grew. And he had no idea how it happened. He'd forgotten about it so he hadn't watered it. He hadn't made sure it had sunlight. He hadn't really thought about it going into the soil so it can have roots. He completely forgot about it. But the earth did it without his help. First a green stem of grass, then a bud, and then ripened grain that he could pick and harvest. So how can we picture God's kingdom, someone asked Jesus. What kind of story can we use? Well, it's a little bit like this. The kingdom of God is a little bit like a mustard seed, the tiniest of seeds. Have a little look in the shops if you can find a mustard seed and try and grow it. They're so small. And when it lands on the ground, it because it's so small, it almost disappears. But once it's planted, it grows into a huge tree with thick branches that birds can nest in and enjoy. And with many stories like these, Jesus presented his message to them. And he was never without a story when he spoke. And we're going to continue to look at different stories that Jesus told over the next few weeks. But think about that little tiny seed is a bit like the kingdom of God. Sometimes we can't see it, but it grows. It grows even without us doing anything. But actually, it's really good to help seeds grow. And if the kingdom of God is a bit like a seed growing, it's because that seed of God's word, of what stories that we read in the Bible, are planted in our hearts and in our minds. And we can help them to grow by obeying God, by doing the right thing, by listening in collective worships or engaging with prayer spaces, whatever it might be, coming to church, we can help those seeds to grow. So I want you to think for a moment, what can you do this week to help that seed grow? The tiniest, tiniest of seeds to help it grow. We might not water ourselves, although hopefully you do in the shower. We might not make sure we're in the sunlight all day because that's not good for our skin. We might not cover ourselves in soil, 
because that would be a bit dirty but there are things that we can do like going to church listening in collective worship coming to prayer spaces whatever it might be that we can do to help us grow so i want to set you this challenge of trying to do one of those things this week whatever you hear in collective worship go and tell that to someone else and plant a seed in their mind in their heart about the story and tell them what you've learnt. Or come along to church one Sunday morning, get someone to bring you to church. Or you could make sure that next time we have a prayer space in school at lunchtime, that you come and join it, that you come and have a little look at what's going on. So have a little think, what one of those might you try and do over the next few weeks to try and help that mustard seed in your heart and your mind to grow and obeying God? can help us grow too so i'm going to pray and if you want to make it your prayer if you agree with me then you can say amen with me at the end so dear god we thank you for that story you told about the mustard seed that even though it's small and almost insignificant and almost disappears in the soil that it still grows to be a wonderful massive tree that birds can nest in help us to plant seeds and share the different stories that we learn in collective worship with the people around us to plant seeds of your word of the bible in people's hearts and minds but also help us to grow the seeds in our own hearts and minds too that we might learn more about you that mean we might obey you in all that we do help us to do that when it's even when it's difficult and may you help us with those challenges whether we want to listen more in collective worship, come to prayer spaces or try and get along to church on a Sunday morning. Help us to do one or a few of those things so that we can grow in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of the week. Take care and I will see you back on video this time next week. See you later, guys. (music) 